Let's spend a bit of time playing with format list. If you've already looked at the information on playing with format table, a lot of this will look familiar. Uh, this can do most of the same things that format table can do. Uh, for example, it has a group by. Um, it doesn't do auto sizing because you don't need that in a list, but it does allow you to specify the properties you want. For example, one of the things that causes most people the most difficulty in PowerShell and, and causes them to spend the most time debugging is making an assumption about what some property or some variable actually contains. For example, if I were to run the command uh, get wmyobject, skipping ahead a bit, this isn't something we've played with, but I want you to see it, win32 logical disk. I know from some past experience that one of the properties this will output is called drive type. And if I pipe it to get member, we'll see the drive type property. Now I'm presuming that that's going to tell me what kind of drive each logical disk is, and that might be something like hard disk, or RAM disk, or optical disk, or something else. If I wrote an entire script around the assumption that drive type contained a value like hard disk, I'd get myself into trouble, because that's not actually what it contains. And a neat trick is to pipe it instead to format list property star. That's going to show me not only every property, but the actual values that go into those properties, showing me that drive type is actually a numeric value. It's 5 for my CD-ROM, 3 for a fixed disk, and it looks like it's uh, 2 for a floppy drive. So using format list star is a great way to see the actual data that's contained in these properties so that you don't have a bad assumption. Of course, you can also just say, show me the drive type, the device ID, size and free space and make up your own little output. Um, you could have it group by drive type and so it'll create a little header. Um, mine were already sorted and I only have one of each. Um, you probably want to sort by drive type before grouping by drive type so that they'll all be already in order. So let's just add a sort on drive type. That's not going to change my output since I only have one of each. Uh, and yeah, those are kind of the neat things. Format list also supports that custom column syntax uh, that we used with the format table command list. You can also create calculated columns that way. For example, if I come in here, and in addition to displaying the size and the free space, I'm going to display a custom column, and I'm going to call it free percent. And the expression for that is going to be taking the size divided by the free space, and well, let's just see what that does so you can see. Oops, I always get that math backwards, which is why it's easy to hit the up arrow, go back, and simply change it. Now that looks like it's going to probably produce a, uh, yeah, big, big decimal value. So let's get it in a real percentage, multiply it by 100, and cast it as an integer, and that gives me my 82%. So again, a lot of neat things you can do with format and list. It's not quite as flexible as format table because of the type of output it creates, but you can still do some pretty amazing things with it.